Many of us have heard or even know intellectually that it's important to pray to God. But what is prayer exactly? And why does prayer matter? Well, in this video, we are going to break a few things down, look into the Bible and provide a few reasons why we should all make prayer a part of our daily lives. By the way, this channel is all about building you up. So for practical tips that will empower you as a teen girl or a young woman to live your best life in Christ and much more engaging lifestyle content, then subscribe to this channel. Oh, and don't forget to hit the bell to be notified when we post a new video every single Tuesday. What is prayer? Simply put, Prayer is communication with God, and God is a living and loving Father. For biblical reference, John 3.16 gives us a glimpse of what God's love is for us. For God so greatly loved and dearly prized the world that he even gave his one and only begotten Son, so whoever believes and trusts in him as Saviour shall not perish and have eternal life. The key thing I mentioned as I define prayer is that it's communication with God. In the last video, I mentioned that prayer is a conversation and a tool for communication with God and not a speech. <laughs> prayer not being a speech really shakes me if I'm being honest and I constantly have to remind <laughs> myself of this. So this means it's not a one-way conversation and that's tough for many of us. In case you haven't, please check out the how to pray when you do not feel like praying video, which provides with some more practical tips. So although I'm still learning and I continue to do so, previously, my understanding of prayer was mistaken. I mean, you may be able to relate to this. Okay, so I would often pray just by giving a, just about giving a half-hearted thanks to God for, um, for life and stating all the things that I wanted him to do in my life. You know, I would pray about relationships, finances, jobs, exams that I did, that I know I didn't revise for, uh, wanting fame, etc. And it was just a very mechanical approach, you know? I really lacked the knowledge that prayer is more than asking God to do stuff for us. Furthermore, prayer is where we build our faith and our hope, you know? And this is because prayer is much greater than us as human beings. I mean, I was reading a devotional a few months ago and it said, prayer is the practice of the presence of God and it's possible to be in a room with someone and be in their presence, but not practice their presence. One thing I got from this is that prayer is a physical act of us admitting our need for God and showing that we actually depend on him for our day-to-day -day needs and not lean on our own understanding. Psalm 105.4 Look to the Lord in his strength, seek his face always. One of the key components of a great relationship of any kind is effective and consistent, consistent communication. Without this, really and truly, it's inevitable that the relationship won't be operating at its maximum potential. So to put this in context, think about two relationships in your personal life, one where maybe the communication is great and one where the communication isn't so great. <laughs> think about the differences between the two relationships. So I just wanted to paint that picture because it's important for us to come to terms with the truth that prayer is an essential requirement for building and growing a relationship with God. A personal relationship with God you know is the ability to to communicate with him and that's why prayer is so important when you receive christ into your heart you become a child of god and have the privilege of talking to him in prayer at any time about anything the christian life is a personal relationship to god through jesus christ and best of all it's a relationship that will last for eternity Something that I should mention for both you and I is prayer isn't a one-time event. Short and consistent prayers are better than lengthy and infrequent prayers. I mean, I'm definitely a firm believer that lengthy breakthrough, breakthrough prayers are a powerful tool, but depending on where you are, 
on your journey with God, don't let your prayers not being an hour long deter you from not praying at all. Nah, because that is a lie from the enemy. Of course, he won't want you to access the very tool that opens the doors for miracles and a Christian's most powerful resource. I mean, I was having a conversation with a friend the other day and it's fair to say that we were both going through similar challenges and I'm finding it harder than usual to pray, let's just say that. And I shared with him something that God's Holy Spirit shared with me a few days prior and it was this. A big part of the reason we build discipline of prayer and seeking God all the days of our lives, which implies a continual process, is not always for the good days but more so for the rough days so the days where we're not in the mood can't be bothered and just don't know what to say the discipline we build in the good days empowers us to show up in the rough times and with the god that i serve i know for a fact that sometimes showing up is all that we need to do and he takes care of the rest so i'd like to challenge us not to quit not to quit praying because perseverance in prayer strengthens our faith and faith is the currency of God's kingdom <laughs> so if you're watching this video and maybe you'd like to commit to living a life that is pleasing to God or maybe you desire to have direct communication with God and have his Holy Spirit who helps you know counsel you guide you on the right path then you can say this prayer of salvation out loud my heavenly father today I come to you just as I am with all my fears and concerns. Thank you for receiving me. I also open up my heart and receive you. I submit my life to you. I receive the gift of salvation and declare that I, as I receive this gift, I am a new creation by your strength. From this day forward, help me live my life in a way that pleases you. I am a new member of your kingdom and I am now born again by your spirit. In the name of Jesus, I pray, amen. If you prayed that prayer with a genuine desire, the great news is that the gift of salvation is all yours free of charge. <laughs> this is a fact based on what the Bible tells us in Romans 8, 9 to 10. So please check it out. I will say that this prayer is not a magical formula. You are simply expressing your heart to God and then the journey be begins. <laughs> There's a lot of content here on the Ayo Awatono YouTube channel to support your journey so be encouraged. A Young Woman's Guide to Seeking God may also be the book that you want to invest in because it's a short and sweet guide where you'll discover what it means to seek God first and and practical steps to help you on your faith journey and you can grab a copy below this video also if you're looking for weekly encouragement and just you know edifying messages then subscribe to the io awatono newsletter because you will receive these on wednesdays only and we don't spam you i don't know why i said because but yeah anyways the link is down below in this video down below this video and if you like this video please let me know by giving me a, a thumbs up yeah a like and subscribe to the channel and share this channel with your fellow ladies also comment below with your biggest takeaway i'd love to know and i look forward to giving you feedback and just also not giving you feedback but responding to your comments should i say so yes thank you so much for watching thank you take care adios y hasta luego